good boy, good girl pots are, well, that's the way pots are supposed to look, but actually that's just the beginning. And uh, so our teacher said, now you got to decide where you want to go. And she, is, she said, because she's been making good boy, good girl pots, that means they're very proper and they're very clean and she crosses all her T's and she curtsies to the queen when the queen walks in and all, does all the proper things she's supposed to do. But um, she, uh, so she, she had some pictures because like all of us, that's where you get your ideas, you steal them, you know, from other things you've seen. And I'm just gonna give her a little idea here. So we'll start with a really simple form. She also wants to make a menorah. But I said, do that as an aside. That's a single problem. You're not going to learn as much. To learn, you need repetition, folks. We all need, you know, um, we all need the repetition. Um, practice. Practice. And, and so she also decided maybe work on some handles. Oh. Because her handles, handles need work. Like so basically, but she can make pots but she's responding to some pots that have a little more of a gestural, more of a, probably more character, you might yeah. say, more, more gesture, uh, a little bit more wildness, a little more, we're back to that balance between restraint. Maybe your pots have restraint in excess now, and you want to bring some, some a little bit of gesture, movement, wildness, kick up your heels a little bit. Um, and, uh, but we're gonna start with a simple, because the problem you're working on is probably the most universal term for this is how to give the pots a gesture. Potters will usually talk about it as giving the pot a gesture. It starts the same as a regular cup cylinder form. And the cylinder is so great to begin with on that because it's a simple shape. And you'll just, what you're going to, have to do is so you've got a cylinder and now um, and you had a you had a, an example of this you had one where the movement was made right on the wheel and it was basically a matter of spinning the wheel slowly, pressing the ribbon pretty firmly, and then kind of doing oh. that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And wow. so all of a sudden, you know, and um, you've got some more gesture, some more movement, because I have to overwork everything. I have to go back into that again. Wow, that is good. So it's just a matter of slow wheel, come in like this. Okay. And then, see. and this would be a huge thing for you, and you'd be able to try it out and see if you like it. And then that piece, I mean, sometimes it's not bad to think there, some of this stuff is just little, they're, they're kind of tricks, or they're uh, blue, but what's the what's the negative spin on that? It's like it's a stick. That's just a shtick. Yeah. 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 It's and but learn the shtick. With time, it will it will develop into not a shtick. It'll be something that you really are connecting with. Okay. Um, and so then so. That would be a place to start. If that's not, then if that's not enough for you, but you'll, don't go in, usually we all go in and we do 10 things. Just start with that. But I'm just gonna show you another little shtick. There's there's yeah. lots of them. I'm not, I, I didn't come in here today thinking about shticks, 
some potters, I'm not a stick potter. I don't trust sticks. But a lot of potters collect sticks. But here's another stick. I mean, I know sticks, but I'm not that interested. Um, it, the stick I have is the, the paddle. Yeah. But it's not a stick for me. It's, uh, it's kind of like Hamada had this stick of a brush stroke, and Yanagi wrote, you have to forgive Hamada for his brush stroke always looking the same. His hand only knows one movement. <laughs> that's not a stick, folks. That's just, you know, that's your true nature, you know, whatever. So, but there's another stick. Now, then you kind of can go, oh my God, you know, I'll put stick on top of stick. And at some point you go, okay, I went too far, you know. But start with one of those. Do limit yourself to one of those on, on a piece. But quickly you'll have maybe six of those. And you talked about wanting a little more texture, a little more hand in the work. All of these are ways to get that. Don't feel bad that it's a stick. Take all the sticks. You'll look up here and there's lots of sticks up here. Um, and then we'll eventually look at how you finish the bottom and the rim and know that then eventually you may go, oh, now I want to do, and then we may do, you want to do this so that now the handle goes in here like this and then there was another stick that I really like that was there see so yeah. you know I mean it's a little busy but uh, you know um, there's a little stick here that's one of my favorites where you can take the piece and put it on a uh, like this did you notice that yeah yeah okay so what that does is it lets your eye pass under there. So all of a sudden, you're starting to play with that form. You're doing it within the context of a simple cylinder. Okay. That problem fits what you're looking for. You're trying to get, you're trying to get the tone. You're not trying to learn a new form. You're trying to get what I my favorite word about pots is you're trying to find a tone yeah. for your pots yeah. or a, a temperament or a or an aroma, or a, a feeling for your pots. A voice. A, a voice. voice. There you go. Well, there you go. Yeah. Voice. You're trying to find a voice. You don't need to do that on the most complex form. Do it within two great forms to do that on, or the cylinder, and this yeah. kind of tea bowl here. Yeah. That's it. Now, if you want to find, if you want to solve a teapot for with a spot and everything, that let's not work on tone there. Let's just resolve right. proportion yeah. and everything else. Uh, Mike wants to resolve his skill. Let's just work on tall, thin bottles, and then we're going to then blow them out later. So that's what I'm asking you guys to do is to def kind of define a problem or two. What Romano wants to do is make a, 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 a menorah also. But I said, do that as an aside when you want to take a break, you want to come in here and fuss with that. That's going to be one piece. That's not going to let you yeah. come, keep coming back and keep you know, keep hammering nails to, you know, to get where you want to get. And that's what I, you know, that's what every, yeah, that, that's kind of the process yeah. that I'll be talking to everybody about. And I'm trying to get, I'm, I'm listening to where you want to go. And I'm, I had a great teacher, Jim Crane, who was probably the most important teacher. Well, I've Carl, I've had a lot of great teachers. <laughs> but Jim used to say the teacher's job is to see where the student's going before they get there. So when I hear where you're trying to go, I'll try and come up with a, a what I'm doing here is that we're setting up a training program for each of you, a separate individual training program to get you where you want to go. Mm -hmm. It'll take me a little while, but that's what I'm doing, and I will get around to everybody.